Welcome back to the channel guys, Crypto Lights here again for another video and um, today we're going to talk about Swipe SXP um, we have covered that over a few videos last week but um, I want to talk to you about it today for some uh, significant reasons alright but looking at the chart at first glance at the moment we can see that we are resting on this support line and it's actually trying to get a bit of a bounce now we can see that there is a bullish MACD cross that is literally just occurred all right and I'll make that a little bit more clearer for you just so you can see that okay we've got a bullish MACD cross if you can see that right it's literally just crossed all right and we can see the RSI trying to move to the upside now and uh, yeah that's definitely looking bullish why I think that there could be a nice bounce and then price increase to the upside now uh, it's recently just come down from five dollars. All right, so we hit about five dollars over here uh, our resistance level Okay, and it's actually retraced. I managed to pick up some more swipe at about two dollars and sixty cents So more or less half price from the previous top. All right, so that's definitely good to, to get a bag at that price Especially after it's just had that increase. So I'm feeling good about my bag right now as you can see um, It does look like it wants to go back to the upside now um, why do I want to talk about Swipe? I'll let you know in just a second, but before I do, I want to give you a quick update on Kusama. All right, now yesterday I made a video about Kusama. I explained why I was buying this. All right, but just for those, uh, uh, just for those who may have uh, followed me on that trade, um, I did actually get out of Kusama after I realised it weren't breaking through this level the way I wanted it to, and uh, it looks to me like a double top. Alright, so I expect that to go back down further unless it kind of bounces off this support line and comes back up and breaks through that line. Once it breaks through here and makes a new all-time high, that might be a better entry to jump back in to Kusama. But yeah, just for the sake of updating you guys, I'm not holding this at the moment. Um, you know, a double top uh, is never really a good indicator for me in regards to holding it. If I did hold it down here, you could see i will probably lose about 40% from the top if you did hold it around there that's around 45% drop from the double top area okay uh, if it did actually get that bounce off the support line and uh, you know even worse if it does fall through and carries on to the downside but in the long term I do expect this to go on much further obviously it is clearly in an uptrend nothing's changed in regards to everything else that I said the only thing that's changed is the fact that I've came out of my position that I got into and I did come out at a profit, all right, just for your information. So, yeah, managing risk, I'd rather not ride a downtrend. If it's going to go down and retest that support, I'd rather not um, have a 40 to 45% loss affecting my emotions, all right? So, yeah, uh, that's Kusama, all right? So, going back to Swipe, we've looked at the chart already, okay? Now, let's talk about some news, okay? First of all, we see it's ranked 71, all right? And we expect that to climb over the next couple of days. The market cap has increased to 177 million, okay? But we've also got the staking, all right? Um, I should be on the Twitter. Twitter, okay, let's go to Twitter, all right? Pull that up for you. Okay, it wants me to log back in. Okay, what I'll do is I'll open it on here because I know I'm already logged in on Safari. Okay, so Swipe basically the staking is launching tomorrow. Okay, and I think that's going to bring a lot of buyers into the market. Okay, obviously, when we're talking about staking, people are going to be holding holding them bags, all right? You can actually get paid out in Swipe uh, by holding BNB as well. It's actually a 12% APR, as you can see there, and a lot of people are probably going to be jumping into this just based on that alone, all right? Let's not forget it's launching to the American market, okay? It hasn't launched yet, all right? But that is coming soon, 
and that, that's you know 200 million potential customers that could get into swipe okay we don't expect all 200 million americans to get into that but you know a percentage of that will be nice it's still going to drive the price of business uh another thing is is they're going to be uh launching a credit card i do believe so there's a picture of the um the announcement that they put out the other day it said there was something different about the card and if you look closely it's actually a platinum card all right and platinum cards are associated with credit cards i think you would have to have like some sort of banking license or banking partnership to have a credit card okay for them to launch a credit card all right but they actually did mention that they have a banking partner and that was going to be announced also all right so just think how big that's going to be for swipe and who is this banking partner going to be when they when they announce it i reckon that there might be a bit of fomo and there's probably going to be some fireworks in the swipe price okay guys um they've also got swipe x now, i don't know what that is all right but swipe x sounds like something uh <laughs> hot project all right and they've also got swipe five so DeFi, swipe five and so on okay and one more thing they're also launching on a top korean exchange okay and that is called coin one now i don't know the exchange but they did kind of clarify that it is a top korean exchange all right so um yeah we're talking about korea we're talking about america they also said um they put an announcement out i think they said that they were going to be launching in another region aside from the us okay so mainstream adoption coming for swipe guys sxp keep your eyes peeled on this one um perhaps we will see a boom tomorrow maybe opening a new week monday uh, we'll have to see how it performs um i am anticipating a large move to the upside especially considering the fact that now don't quote me on that all right guys like I could be wrong, all right? So don't slay me if if this doesn't do anything, all right? I mean, I expected it to continue up before before we hit this resistance and it kind of got rejected there. But to me, that's a little bit healthy. It's a healthy correction to come back down after such a, a swift increase. I mean, it increased uh, looking about 200%, okay? So it's, it's quite normal to see a correction from that level, okay? Finding support now and hopefully we can get that move to the upside um i like i said i'm anticipating that because of the staking um if if we're looking at the staking on its own that's a reason for this to pump all right now, it probably did pump already uh, based on that because of the announcement of the staking but i mean the staking is just going to bring holders in and i guess people are going to want to hold some uh, uh some swipe and get those extra rewards those, those staking rewards and whatever so we'll have to wait and see how that pans out but yet yeah, based on some of the things that i've mentioned we're talking about the us we're talking about another region we're talking about korean exchange we're talking about staking we're talking about swipe x we're talking about swipe five and we're talking about credit cards and we're talking about price increasing to the upside all right so let's see how it goes guys what do you think you'll have to let me know in the comments if you're not subscribed to the channel already do me a favor and do that. Leave a like on the video and I guess I'll see you again in the next one.